We get thousands and thousands of birds out here. For me, it's my happy place. I love just sitting here. It's like being in another place, you know, where time doesn't matter so much. The Merced National Wildlife Refuge is a 10,000 acre refuge. Uh, it encompasses marshes, grassland, upland habitat. So my name is uh, Gabriel Sandoval, the assistant refuge manager here at the Merced National Wildlife Refuge. The Merced Refuge was established in 1951 to divert a lot of you know waterfowl from feasting on you know neighboring crops so they come here we create habitat we create land for them their nutrients to supplement them to be prepared to you know do their long migrations up north or wherever they may go this is one of the areas where it has the largest concentration of lesser sandhill cranes this is their wintering stopover site along the pacific flyway right now is the peak season some of these birds can, you know, go all the way up to the very north end of Canada, to Alaska. You know, a lot of them make these very long journeys up north. They're going to go out, out there and uh, they're going to nest. We try to come over here, especially in the winter time when the birds are here. I try to come every week during the um, birding season. I know where the birds hang out. They know me by name, you know. <laughs> This is my hobby. I love taking pictures of birds and I like watching them. And being able to identify the birds and see different ones. The sandhill grains are my favorite. Ross's geese. The snow geese. Northern shovelers, American widgeon, ducks, passerines, songbirds. Canada geese. Red-tailed hawks, great horned owl, and occasionally you might see a, an American bald eagle out here. We always expect to see something different. We're not sure what it'll be. We especially like something spooks them and a whole flock of geese will rise up and just becomes deafening. <laughs> Swirling around in the air just feels kind of otherworldly. It's like being in another place, you know, where time doesn't matter so much. We have a five mile auto tour route. So that's, you only stay in your car and um, you know, the birds are right there. I recommend bringing binoculars, spotting scope, cameras to take pictures. We also offer four different um, hiking trails or nature walk trails. It's a good way to decompress from being in the city or being somewhere busy and just an easy way to be connected with nature. From somewhere like the Bay Area, it's only a, an hour and a half drive. And you know, Merced's known for being a, a gateway to Yosemite. So I imagine a lot of people, you know, stop here as, you know, part of their collection of, uh, you know, being connected with nature. For me, it's my happy place. I love just sitting here, just be in this God's nature, beautiful, beautiful nature. When things get so stressful in the world, I come out here and it's perspective. And it's, you know, and, and realizing we need to appreciate our earth and protect it. That's what we're, we're here to do. We're, we're here to take care of the land and for people to, to see the wildlife that, you know, is very native, that is from this area. I'm very happy to see people out here wanting to connect it, wanting to learn about it, wanting to see it. So it opens a lot of opportunity for education, 